What is up, everyone? Welcome back to the Crypto Blitz, your home for your crypto fix. I'm your host, Triple Van Winkle. Folks, this could be one of the last times you see the classic layout being used. You know how to do a little throwback, kept it going for a week. This was the overlay that got me involved in YouTube. You can see how much the channel has evolved over time as we have the new layout where we use the little ticker on the side where you can see all the news headlines. It's always nice to go back to your roots, isn't it? In this video, we're going to talk about a Bitcoin, a possible retest. Casper, you know I'm bullish on Casper. We're going to compare it to Cardano. And I think you'll get a better understanding of why I am so bullish on Casper and why I have been doing weekly buys since, I believe it's been since about February. We're going to talk why the market is up. We found the answer. You're not going to be surprised. It's October. Is it really a thing? Is October usually a bullish month for crypto? I got an article you're going to want to hear. Visa, they're funding an AI fund. SBI fraud, the clip. Promise we'll go over. We're going to go over it. John Deaton's going to chime in. Then we're going to talk about XRP's next Fibonacci level, where that brings us and where that takes the price. So let's jump into it. It's Kurt making all this video. Bitcoin's coming in at $27,617. It's down 2.29%. Ethereum, $1,659. It's down about 4%. USDT's coming in at dollar peg. As USDC's coming in at $1.01. It's up almost a half a percent. It's outperforming BNB, folks right now how about that one total cryptocurrency market cap one trillion and 95 million now bitcoin wouldn't be surprised if bitcoin just retest the trend line here and then goes higher setup looks very similar to the last two times dating back to march and june of this year in my opinion even better because a bullish divergence is playing out let me blow up the chart for those of you looking at the screen you can see the last retest you can see we can have a possible retest here which would put us around that twenty six thousand dollar range before we blast up even higher and getting us into that very bullish term territory which is approaching that forty thousand dollar range for bitcoin it is coming there is no doubt in my mind that bitcoin is going to have an explosive move very soon the question is how high does it go is that going to be the indicator that the bull run is set to kick off cowboy casper put this out once you've seen it it's very hard to unsee it. I dare you. You are still early. Casper, it's going to be like ADA, but on steroids. We haven't seen anything yet. That is because ADA was all a promise and didn't have a plan. But Casper, they have everything in place. Here you go. Looking at the left-hand side, you can see the Casper chart. Looking at the right-hand chart is the Cardano chart. You can see Cardano, 335 days it hugged that, white, that dotted line at the bottom before the explosive move up. Casper, we're looking at the same exact thing. We are hugging this line. We are going to see an explosive move up. I am fully transparent. I've been telling my patrons. I've even been tweeting about it on Twitter. I've been buying Casper every single week since about the February time frame. I am still buying it. I was going to stop buying it and rotate money into HBAR. I didn't pull the trigger, to be honest. I'm still looking to do it. I just have forgotten because I have a very fat Casper bag and I wanted to start getting more HBAR. But Casper from here, and I believe if we pull up the chart real quick and we look at the Casper price, I think we're sitting right around that three cent mark. It is three cents. My DCA over the time is probably around four cents, to be honest with you. I'm not concerned about it. I'm not worried about it. But when we look at Casper from here, three cents, we can easily see a 10 to 20 X on Casper. That is why I am stacking it, folks. You know, you put 5,000 in, you do a 20 X, what's 20 X to 5,000? You put a 1,000 bucks and you do a 20 X, it's 20 K. Casper is going to be a massive gainer this cycle. Everyone is sleeping on it. They're not going to jump in until it's too late. John Dean says, I now I know why the market's up. Yeah. Jim Cramer, he's telling everyone, get out of crypto while you can. Spot on. Jim Cramer tells you to get out of crypto. What do you do? You do the opposite. You get into crypto. I responded. It's like clockwork. There's a Reddit sub form that was created on fading Jim Cramer. And you know what? The scary part is, if you do exactly the opposite of what he tells you, 70% of the time you're hitting. 
that is massive. Usually in like the betting world, and we were looking like sports betting, if you if you get a 55% rate of win, a win rate of 55%, it's considered good. And they're hitting at 75%, that's huge. Blockworks put this out, October, excuse me. It's maybe too early to tell, analysts warn. On October, on October 1st, when 70 million in cryptocurrency short position were liquidated, pushing Bitcoin and Ether more than 3% to 4% higher, but gains were quick, quickly erased. October is typically a strong month for Bitcoin, earning it to turn up October. Author of the crypto is Marco now a former head of market insights at Genesis. And while we know that patterns don't necessarily re repeat themselves, they are comforting. But more than 70 million in cryptocurrency short positions were liquidated October 1st, which was the reason we saw the markets push up. Over the past few months, we've seen a few of these sharp spike ups. Usually they are followed by a correction, sometimes sharp and sometimes gradual, but almost always reverting to where the markets were before the upward move. Stock posted a disappointing month at the end of the third quarter as the S&P 500 and NASDAQ composite indexes lost 4.9% and 5.8% respectively in September, making it the worst month for return in 2023 but usually when we look at the cryptocurrency charts and we review october it's usually green i believe about 70 percent of the times it is green dating back about over a decade worth of data visa they've created a 100 million war chest to invest in companies harnessing generative ai technologies and applications for commerce and payments ai is the next big thing it is coming in hot everyone is jumping on the ai bandwagon mac attack said 27 27 billion 245 million 335 thousand would be the market cap of xrp if it did a thousand x That'd be about $500 XRP. I don't think those numbers are right. Unless I'm 27 billion. Yeah. I don't think those numbers are right because a $1 trillion market cap would put us at a $20 XRP. Maybe my math's wrong, but I'm pretty sure I'm spot on with it. John Dean said this should this should be saved from Elon Musk. The MSM via 60 Minutes and its BS narrative of the SBI, SBF fraud being corrected by the public on an open platform. I'm not going to play this for you. I don't want to waste your minute 40 that you'll never get back. But pretty much 60 minutes sat down. And this is a quick clip. They're trying to say that Sam Baker Freed was like a, a genius. And that he had like the best platform out there. And if it didn't go south, that he knew what he was doing. Well, folks, it was a scam. He scammed everyone. If you compare him to Bernie Madoff, they did the exact same thing. Just one did it in the traditional markets, one did it in the crypto markets. But the only difference I see here is that SBF was giving money to the powers that be, where they, uh, Bernie Madoff wasn't doing that and was caught up in his, you know, I mean, you know the story, I don't got to get into it. It's a joke. 60 minutes, absolute joke. And then in 2021, SBF wrote a letter to Caroline expressing. He doesn't have a soul. He says, in a lot of ways, I don't really have a soul. There was a lot more obvious in some contests than others. But in the end, there's a pretty decent argument that my empathy, empathy is fake. My feelings are fake. My facial reactions are fake. I don't feel happiness. What's the point in dating someone who you physically can't make happy? That's a very dark statement right there. Clearly, he didn't have a soul because he stole millions of dollars from us investors. Dr. Fender said XRP in the daily chart broke the initial resistance and back tested it. We had a similar move not too long ago in July of this year. The next Fibonacci level sitting exactly at 66 cents. If we don't see XRP below that 50 cent support range, we're going to hit that 66 cent mark this week. But I told I covered this before and I'm going to cover it again. There is a possibility of a downside to XRP going back around that 40 to 45 cent range. It's not the end. Don't fall for the FUD. Pay attention to the charts and what they are telling you. What goes up must go down. What goes down must go up as long as it's a real project and not a scam. Obviously, XRP is solving real world problems. It is going to be around for the long haul. It is not a security within the U.S. Banks are building on top of the technology. Banks are using it. Central banks are using it, remitters are using it. We can see a little bit of a downside before we get the push up. But remember, the push up is coming and the push up targets are sitting where? 
$3.30, which would put XRP above its all-time high of $2.80 in the USA, and $6.50, and about 50 cents, we're gonna call it. $6.650, the numbers go back and forth. Those are your sweet spots for XRP. That is where we are going. All the question is, is what happens in between that time frame? Do we see a 40 cent XRP before we get the next move up? Well, it's gonna depend. What is Bitcoin going to do? But it is possible we see that downward movement. If that does happen, you have two options, not financial advice, but you can either buy more or you can sit on your hands and do absolutely nothing and let this thing play out. 2024 is going to be a magical year for everyone who is involved in crypto. Remember that. 2024, folks. By summer, a lot of us are going to have life-changing gains. We're going to change our lives for the better, whether you make 10000 or $10 million. Everyone's life will be changed because this is found money that you are going to get from putting money into XRP. You just have to be smart. You need to have a plan. You need to know when to exit, how to exit. You don't want to get caught up, but everyone deserves profits. Everyone. And everyone should be taking profits on this bull cycle and this run up. Do not feel bad for selling XRP. Take profits because if you're not going to take profits, I will tell you right now, I will be taking profits. I'm not telling you you need to sell 100% of your bag. I'm just telling you maybe 10%. Start leveraging 3 bucks, 10, 4 bucks, 10, 5 bucks, 10, 6 bucks, 10, 7 bucks, 10, and leverage. Therefore, if it does keep going up, you keep exiting. And then when the price goes back down, you can keep some of your profits, but then you can get out at the same point and you can buy back in. I'm going to leave it like that. Listen, wash your damn hands, be nice, and be kind to each other. Ripple Van Winkle is out.